everyone. Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called insulin, and insulin has several brand names. It just really depends on if it's short-acting, long-acting, etc., and it falls under the class of hormones. So the mechanism of action of insulin is that it promotes glucose transport into the cells of all tissues, and it causes an intracellular shift of potassium and magnesium, which produces a decrease in the serum levels of these specific electrolytes. Indications. Your indications are going to be diabetic ketoacidosis, hyperglycemia and hyperkalemia. There may be more indications for insulin. However, this is not something that we see a lot in the 911 EMS setting, actually ever. I don't really know of an ambulance that carries insulin. However, you do see it given on long distance transports or in an air ambulance. And in many areas, a paramedic can work in the emergency room setting. So they may come in contact with insulin a lot more than we do running 911 EMS calls. Before we get into the dosages, I just want to encourage you to learn your local protocol, stay within it, and also stay within your scope of practice. So the dose portion of insulin, I'm doing it different than I've ever done any dose portion of any of the medication videos I've done, and I've done quite a few of them. The dose and the route depends solely on the indication and the patient's glucose level. You want to follow your physician's order as insulin will typically be given in a hospital setting or during the course of an EMS interfacility transport. All this to say, I'm not actually going to give you a dosage. I could say something generic like, for a diabetic coma, it's 10 to 25 units, but I, I don't want to do that because as an EMS professional, unless you're in the hospital and even then you're going to be following a physician's order. They are going to determine the indication. So is the patient hyperkalemic? Are they experiencing diabetic ketoacidosis, et cetera? And then they're going to adjust accordingly. And we just follow the orders as EMS professionals. Your contraindications for insulin are going to be hypoglycemia and hypokalemia. So low blood sugar or low low potassium. Adverse reactions, hypoglycemia, hypokalemia, also weakness, seizure, and coma can happen when insulin is given. A few side notes about insulin. It is potentiated by alcohol and salicylates, also thiazide, diuretics, dobutamine, corticosteroids, epinephrine. They all may antagonize the hypoglycemic effects of insulin. Insulin may also be required for gestational diabetes, so this is something to be aware of. Pregnant women who weren't prescribed insulin before may be prescribed insulin during pregnancy. And also one last little fact is that insulin typically requires refrigeration. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational and for entertainment purposes for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!